So today I want to talk about colonial shutters, the impact colonial shutters. They can be a pain in the butt to fix if they're not done right um, or if they're corroded. I'm going to try to get into that. I know it's a little bit off of uh, topic of out outdoors, but it's still a DIY thing and I think it's useful to people here in Florida, um, whether you're fixing yourself or you're trying to start a business to do it. Uh, there's some things that I found here. Um, I hate doing shutters. It's one of my least favorite things to do. Um, it's usually very hot out, super humid out, but that's part of living in Florida um, in the summer. But here, I wanna show you what can go wrong with the shutters. You have, right here, um, you have what they call a rib nut, or uh, it's like a threaded um, insert um, rivet. And what can happen, I already started working on this shutter here, but what can happen is like what you have here, this right here, this nut, it's uh, this rivet broke and then the threaded part of it is stuck on the back side of the screw. And this screw, I, I'm gonna have to cut the, to fix this, I'm gonna have to cut the uh, head off of this screw and then I can pop the uh, rivet, old rivet out and I'll show you how I do that and then we'll get a new rivet in there. So stay tuned. All right, so what you're gonna need, bare minimum, that I found to use is, if you have an angle grinder, that's fine. You can cut the head off the bolt with that. But here, um, I just have a just regular hacksaw, but I took and I pulled this nut off and I turned the blade so that the handle, um, the blade's not in line with the handle, it's um, just turned to the side. So that way I can get along the side of the shutter and cut the, the screw head off with this without having my knuckles hit the um, shutter itself. Second off, once you get that screw head off there, you're gonna need um, something like a, uh, I like this pry bar. You can probably use a screwdriver, um, but you get behind that uh, rivet, the head of that rivet with this pry bar and um, you take the hammer and tap on that and the, the head of that um, rivet should pop off there pretty easy. So let's get to it. Get behind that screw head with that hacksaw. You got that the threaded part fell back inside the shutter. That's fine, not a big deal. So then I take this, I get just behind that, the head of that rivet and just kind of work it off there. You could use a grinder for this part too, but that came off there, it's off there now. So now, Kind of, there might be just a little piece of that stuck in there still. Just kind of smooth that little, there might be burrs on there too. Smooth that out. And then, I'll do this one on the ground here to show you better, just for camera's sake. All right, for this next process, you're gonna need five other things. You're gonna need, first off, you're gonna need some of these uh, riveted uh, nuts. So they're threaded on the inside like that and they'll slide into that hole. And then what you're gonna need else is you're gonna need one of these. There's different styles of these. Um, these tools are, you put the, you end up putting the riveted nut on here. And then we'll insert that into the hole and you squeeze these handles together and it draws that nut um, together and it clamps it on and fastens it, fastens it to the uh, aluminum shutter. 
I'll show you how that's done. After that's done, you're gonna need a, a new bolt because you cut the old head off the other one. And I like to, before I put the bolt in, I like to squirt some of this grease in there. And you might, if this rivet, this rivet is just slightly bigger than the old one, which it might be, or this is slightly corroded, you might need something um, maybe similar to this to just, just barely hit the hole, uh, maybe knock a couple burrs off. Let's just reverse. Knock a couple burrs off. I wouldn't hit it too much because you want that hole to be as tight as possible on that nut so that it has a good, uh, good connection and a good grip. All right, I want to show you this as well. Um, this is actually the, the rivet nut that comes with this tool. These are steel, um, so they will, they will rust out in time. Um, and especially being here on the shutters next to the coast, um, Treasure Coast, we have a lot of salt water. Even though this house is not directly in the ocean, there's still a lot of salt in the air. Um, so I'm gonna show you how this works on this one because I don't wanna waste my stainless steel ones that I have for this. So basically you put that on and thread it on all the way and then you just squeeze the handles together and it does that. See how that does that? Then that uh, makes that fastened inside that hole. So on this tool, you can just loosen this up a little bit more. If you want that to close up a little bit more, get back here, you just take this, turn, give it a couple more turns, and then just hit it again. I didn't do much that time, but you can keep, you can turn it, oh, if it's, it'd be fastened in the hole, so you'd be, um, this I needed to keep stationary when I did that, but. That should just close that right up more right there. See that? So that's essentially what that other nut's gonna do inside the hole. So we'll take that off and we'll get um, back to the stainless steel one. Go ahead and put this one back on. Remember I kind of reamed that out already. We're gonna give it a test here. See that slid in there good? So with my I want to push on the shutter so that that is seated all the way inside the hole and then I just take this and I squeeze that down. I feel like it should have a little bit more so I'll just give this a couple turns and I'll do it again. Feels pretty good. Might be a little bit more. I feel like I could go a little more with it so I'm not putting a ton of pressure on this. This work is this uh tool does a lot of the work for itself so let a little bit off that and then I take this handle turn that counterclockwise and that threads that out of the hole there so now you have that right there nice clean new uh, rivet there so I'll take and put some grease in that to combat with the salt water and corrosion stainless steel and Aluminum sometimes have a uh, they react to each other and the aluminum will um, start to oxidize a little more than the stainless steel wheel so It can cause problems. That's why I'm using stainless steel and not aluminum or steel on this because I don't want those threads to just get oxidized And, and to help prevent some of that too. I'll take some of this. Uh, this is just marine grease marine grade uh, grease I'll just I like this tube here because it I don't have to carry around a caulk gun with me, or a grease gun, sorry. I can just carry this little tube around, squirt a little of that in there, do all these holes here. I need to do that rivet still, so I'll wait on that one. Put some of that grease in there. And then I can go ahead and uh, thread that in there. And go ahead and throw your last screw in there. the crossbar that goes on here goes on there like that slide it on then you can take your screw gun and tighten up your screws I'm trying to go too tight with them just snugs works fine all right so there you go that's how you fix the uh, rivet nut on uh, colonial shutters I hope you enjoy this video. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll have more videos on outdoor things, fishing, hunting, um, DIY stuff like this as well. Um, 
I'll leave a link in the description to these um, for some new screws and the rivet nut that sell itself and also the tool. So uh, if you want to check those out, you can check those out as well. Until the next time, I'm Phil and you're watching Scope Scar Outdoors. Mm -hmm.